Okay, so we're looking at a pivot breakout now on uh, British pound against the US dollar. Notice how the British pound against the US dollar has ranged throughout this, what we call R0.5 to R1. And as British pound now breaks through here, as it's now doing, we're going to take a long position, which means we're going to buy British pound, and we're going to look to run up here. And that means running towards the R2. We're just really going to look to take 20 points. We're going to have a 20 point stop and we're going to have a 20 point target. So, simple 20 pointer. Let's go place that trade. Okay, so it looks like we have uh, cable at uh, about uh, 61.68. We're going to go 1,000 a point. Um, we have a 20 point stop. So that's 20,000. And uh, yeah, we'll happily buy that. Good. And we can see here that's good. We're sort of 1,000 a point. Um, our average price, our current price here is 161.89. We can see we're up a thousand, and uh, and the trade is moving. Now we're happy to take that uh, that 20 point stop. That's about 20,000 risk on a two million account. That's one percent. So we're happy with that. We are on in the trade. <clears throat> we'll now wait for the position to see if we have some movement, and if we have movement, um, you'll see it move quite rapidly. So we have a couple of points. We have three thousand, four thousand, five thousand. Expected to pull a little bit back off that level, bounce, and then continue moving. Um, notice here, as I as I extend out the line here, we've got uh, we've got the, the trade registered here. Current price sixty one seventy. P and L is uh, two thousand now three thousand. So this is going to move around. Um, it's uh, the, the 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 deal price on the trade, um, as we can certainly see here, was sixty one sixty eight, and uh, and and the trade is steadily moving along. And um, and all we're looking really now to do is pull 20 points. Now, the way we'll do this trade is um, on this platform, I'll hit uh, close deal in a second, um, which will then bring up the trade ticket. Uh, it's a lumpy trade, a thousand, uh, a thousand British pounds a point. So that means that um, we need to make sure that the brokers are aware that I'm trying to exit the trade. So I'll hit uh, close deal and it will allow me to um, to bring up the deal ticket. And then I'll literally just hit uh, hit close, or I'll hit uh, obviously buy to close, uh, sorry, sell to close my long position. So we can see this is that pullback I was talking about. It's coming back a little bit now, just testing that level. What I was expecting would, would be bounce and immediately now start to move back upwards. And that would be my expectation. So uh, again, I'm up a point, a thousand. Uh, so, so not a lot right now, but uh, I expect this bounce and it's now starting to bounce upwards. So back to three, four thousand. Um, and really now just waiting to close the deal. When we get over the 20 point mark where I should be able to see about 20,000 pounds of profit, uh, I'm literally going to start to uh, to hit the close deal button and, and pull this trade off the table. Um, I'd expect the run around now, given that it's broken now, clearly gone through that level. Here we can see it's 12,013. Here we are. Here we are. We're up to the 21,000 mark. So I now want to exit this trade. So I'll be uh, I'll be now moving my mouse. See if it can hold this level. Let's move. Let's let's close the deal here now. And uh, and see if we can uh, and see if we can lock that twenty points. So it's holding twenty two thousand. It's not going to move any more. Let's click the close deal, and uh, and let's get um, let's get this trade priced up. I'm waiting for the broker now to pull my price. So uh, uh, you can see the the price has moved around. And here I go, and it's going to hit sell at uh, at twenty points is what I'm after, which is around this level here, and uh, and we'll take the trade just about yeah about here let's this, this, this tick it up to 20 see if we can capture 20 there it is okay oh, oh we got 19 okay that's close enough um so there we are that's how you make nineteen thousand pounds in uh well about uh, about three or four minutes so uh there we go let's uh, move on and have a look at and see if we can do another one Now here's a little trade that we're going to place. Uh, we're going to look at taking, uh, notice Euro has broken up through the pivot line. Now Euro is in an uptrend uh, on the daily. So all we're going to look to do is scalp a few points. Um, the stop on this is going to be um, equivalent to about 750 uh, pounds per point. Um, so we're going to literally look to scalp and take um, five, 10 points, nothing more than that. But let me just share a quick scalp because it'll be quite an interesting for your development. Okay, so scalping, on the platform as soon as we can. Okay, so let's find the Euro trade here. Let's click on trade. And our stake on this is uh, 7.50 per point. Let's click on request quote. 
and uh, let's have a quote come back and there it is okay let's buy that there good it's done and here's the deal ticket now we can see straight away that we're simply looking at an overextension through that line. So the line itself was an overextender. So we're literally looking for it to run up towards that uh, line of resistance that we previously saw, which is literally five to ten points away. So we're going to run this now. I want you to see that the numbers run because it literally is a five to ten point mini scalp. I mean, it's a real small trade. And given that there's some spread in this trade of a couple of points as well, we're really only looking to scalp literally enough to cover our costs grab some money which is going to be five six seven points something of, of that uh, magnitude and then we're going to run this position and uh, and, uh, and and then close it out now again as with, uh, as with the previous trades here that I'm showing you which are more real-time trades in very short very, very short hits I want you to get the sense of you know how quickly we're in and out of these kind of positions these aren't the the regular slower trading strategies like the end of day trading strategies that we teach they're more of the um, you know more of the fast paced trading strategy but it gives you a sense of a feel of you know uh, of, of how the price moves at what point it starts to slow and turn around and then and, and literally how quick you have to be on the figure to, uh, to to get out of these on these scalp trades again as with the previous trades we're going to hit uh, going to hit close deal we can see it's slowing around here we don't want to see a reversal back or the creeping death program that we've talked about before i'm going to hit close deal um, around this level here i think we've done our five or six points and I think that, uh, yeah, we'll, get, we'll wait for the, the, the quote to come back now. And literally, we just need to lock and load and really take this position off the table. So here it is, sell, and we're out. We've taken uh, 3,750, which is uh, about five pips, five points. And, uh, and the deal is, uh, in fact, done. So uh, there you go. That one was uh, about a couple of minutes. A break through the main pivot line, and, uh, and we are out.